Hello and welcome to Release Date Rewind. My name is Mark J. Parker and I am a film lover, filmmaker, film celebrator. And normally this is an audio podcast wherever you get your podcasts on your favorite apps. But thanks to Portland Media Center, you are about to watch the video component of this show where I celebrate movie anniversaries with my friends. Each month, I usually talk about two different movies that I love with different friends. And we talk about the making of the movies, trivia, any fun memories associated with them. So I hope you enjoy because now it's time to rewind. Get ready, everybody, for some girl power, because we have my friend, my sp- my Spice Girl. We we grew up with these girls. You were obsessed with them. I was obsessed with them. We have stories to tell. Please, everybody, welcome back to the show, my friend, Katie Bruno, my own little ginger spice. Hi. I've always ginger spice. You, you, I remember always. you love ginger. I love ginger. But like you, to me, are ginger spice. And I Thanks. say that as a compliment. I think that's like... Yeah. And like, now I'm a redhead. I was always destined to be a redhead. Yes. <laughs> yes. Was she always your favorite, would you say? Was always. she like your girl? Yeah. Yeah. So were you like totally... Because I, I, remember, I remember when she left the group... It was like earth shattering. Were you like We'll get into that because I was devastated. But I yeah. remember distinctly when I so I was at I was with like Allison Cook and I yep. think like Becky Reed and and probably Nina Holmes, like the usual crew. Oh. And we were watching Wannabe and oh. it was they had just come out, like oh, just yeah. been released in in the States. And we were watching and we're like, have you heard of the Spice Girls? I'm like, oh yeah. So we're watching it and we all chose which one we wanted to be. And I immediately was like, her. <laughs> and it was Ginger. I didn't even really know who she was yet. I didn't know that she was called, well, Sexy Spice or Ginger Spice. Remember right. Spice both? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that always, funny? And yeah. that was always her shtick, was that she yeah. was... Yeah, and Allison she was, shows uh, Sporty Spice. She was Sporty. Yeah. And was Nina, Nina was scary Baby? Spice. Oh, she was Scary, yeah, okay. Was scary Spice, and Becky was Posh Spice. So I yeah, guess there was so, no baby. I guess I was baby. We didn't really. Oh. So we had talked to a couple of our blonde friends, including Sarah Lefferts, to be oh <laughs> baby my spice. God. Oh we were my like, God. we need a blonde. Yeah. And it's funny. I'm so glad you brought up Allison because she and I were chatting the other day about Avatar 2. Because how funny. we Last time Katie was on the show, we were talking about Titanic, obviously. Yeah. And we were talking about James Cameron and Avatar 2. Are we going to see it? I watched it because I have a, an award screener. And I got through it. And it's actually not so bad. I, I wasn't as it, yet. it wasn't as bad as I thought. I actually quite liked it. I mean, there are moments that went over my head, and the first half hour, I'm like, I don't know if I can sit through this. But by the end, I think it's pretty solid. I think you'll like it. And there are some fun callbacks to his previous films that I won't say. But the ending, the big finale, I was like, oh, this is giving me some of that, some of that. Anyway, okay. but so she and I were talking about Avatar 2, and I said, hey, like, I'm going to see Katie in a couple days online, and we're going to talk about Spice World if you want to, like, send me a message on what you think about Spice World. And she brought up, and I thought this was so funny, Katie. She oh said somewhere there is a picture. And she, I, hope, I hope, Allison, please, if you're listening, find this picture. She said there's a photo somewhere of you and her. I think it was maybe her birthday party or some party. And she got a Spice Girl doll. We were and, just talking about this. Too. Oh, were you? I saw her oh. over. I saw her over the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently, you were in the photo like so. What were you? Are you crying? Or are you so, pissed that you don't have a doll? What had happened was. What had happened was the yeah. Spice Girl dolls had been released, and of course, I wanted Ginger Spice, yeah. and you couldn't find. So when we went to. Um, Discount Harry's, which I don't know if you remember Discount Harry's. Um, mm-hmm. I think we got them there. So we found the dolls, but they only had Mel C and I think like Mel B maybe. They didn't have mm-hmm. Ginger Spice. For some reason, I couldn't find Ginger Spice for a little while. So wow. it was pretty sad. So I it, it was a while before I got her. So yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> so um, I had like Mel C. I had like, I think I had like three or four of them except Ginger or something like that. Mm-hmm. Something, you know, that was like earth shattering for the an Holy Grail. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> And um, I, I must have the set. Um, so we were at Allison's birthday party, and she got ginger spice for her birthday. Oh my and god! And I, like, flames on the side of my face, <laughs> burning. I was so mad. I, I was very mature about it. Um, so we, I had seen, I saw her a couple weeks ago with like Jackie and and, oh, and nice. Amanda and all them, and we were laughing because I was mentioning, oh, I'm going to be on again to do Spice World, and Allison's like, do you remember? And I, I was like, <laughs> yes, I was 
an asshole. Yes. I wow. Was, so you had yeah. like a housewives <laughs> moment. You like totally <laughs> lost your shit at her this party. Could have been, that that could have been my villain origin story right yeah. there. <laughs> So did you ever get a ginger spice doll? Yes, or... I okay, did. you did. So okay. I actually, um, it was a very beautiful day. I got ginger spice <laughs> um, and it was a glorious day. Um, I had them up until about a year or two ago when I finally, oh. finally. Did you sell them? No, they they weren't going for any money. No. Um, I gave them to my niece. So oh, I wanted sweet. them. So she played with them. So I. I gave her like a them and like a couple other Barbies I've been hanging on wow, to. Wow! So and, you were um, holding on to the Spice Girls dolls until you said two time. years ago. I would wow. say I would say I got rid of them about two years ago when wow. I was two like two moves ago. That's um, dedication. I, so I I gave them to my niece. She was so excited. She heard she had just heard of the Spice Girls. So she's mm-hmm. literally like, "Wow!" She was so excited. And my nephew comes around. He's like on his bike. He's coming up. And Maddie, my niece, is like, "Ryan, have you heard of the Spice Girls?" Showing. It was so cute. I'm like, "This is perfect." Like, I don't even Aww. care if you ruin them. It's fine. It was perfect. It was like the Toy Story three where Andy gives his toys to the little girl, and oh, that yeah. was kind of like my Aunt Andy Toy Story three moment. And oh, that's and she so, was so sweet. happy to get them. And, they're probably like so... destroyed now. <laughs> yeah, they're probably like full of shit it's all over them but that's all right they went to good use <laughs> <laughs> sorry girls but um isn't it so funny though like because how old is your niece she is nine so isn't that so interesting because they they nine. the girls came out i remember september 96 is when their first album spice came out and one of you was everywhere and we mm-hmm. were nine then so how perfect that you gave them to yeah. her around the same age but isn't it so interesting because back then when we were nine if someone gave us you know toys of a band from 25 years ago i don't think we would really care but no. now it's interesting because now obviously nostalgia is such mm-hmm. a thing like this podcast and also now people choose their own adventure with whatever they want to watch or listen to right mm-hmm. like entertainment is way more accessible than it was when we were kids where yes. like, you kind of just had like these certain channels and yeah whatever it. your parents listen to or would allow yes. you to buy in the cd store you know totally like that. now yeah, like a nine-year-old so could just I she don't knows know, the Spice like, Girls. Yeah, figure it out yeah. and be like, oh my God, I love this band and I don't care that they're not new at all, right? Whereas yeah. also at that time in, in the late 90s, you know, when this movie came out and everything, everyone cared about new, new, new. Like, and that's kind yeah. of what we were saying a little bit with Titanic. Like everyone cared about the hot, like younger people, like new, new, new. Whereas mm-hmm. nowadays it's like whatever you want, you know? So yeah. that's cool. Oh, I love that you passed moment. them on. That's nice. I know, it, it was nice tough. Auntie. It was tough. Hopefully this is part of your continuing celebrations for birthday week. And 25 years ago, I saw this movie for my birthday. Yes. Okay. Tell me. Oh, wow. What a segue. That is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Wow. So, okay. So tell me, because this movie came out, as you said, 25 years ago, January 23rd, 98. It was actually Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. It was the Super Bowl weekend, which is so ballsy like what great counter programming because actually and you might have read this too this broke the record at the time it was uh it wasn't number one Wait, and of it course. was early too yes it yes. was early normally normally now it's february yeah but um this broke the record for um most uh, money made from a new movie during a super bowl weekend because it wasn't number one it was number two after titanic mm-hmm. of course because titanic was number one for months right it made ten and a half million opening weekend so it was number two but that was at the time the highest opening number for a for a new movie during a super bowl weekend which is crazy so i just love that they were like all right Everyone's watching the Super Bowl, but the Spice Girls are going to come to the U.S., baby. So tell me, Katie, what did what do you remember from seeing this in the theater? So I went with, um, I believe, my mom, definitely my brother, Seamus. Um, oh, yeah? I went with, um, I believe, Seamus' friend, Scotty, was there. And uh, Ben Reed, Becky Reed, probably Nina Holmes. Yeah, wh- um, where was I? I guess I really I didn't don't know. You. I know I texted you and I was like, were we, did we see this together? Like, well, you didn't, like, you, I'm, sh- like, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like, I know I texted you about going. I'm like, well, we weren't texting oh, no. back then. No. <laughs> I'm like, that wasn't around, Katie. Thanks, but no. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like, I we didn't even have cell phones yet. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. That's what we did back then. Yeah, I meant to say, you oh know. <laughs> yeah, but no, yeah, yeah we were I texting don't know where you were. in, in modern know. day. Yeah, I, you know, I have this memory yeah. of seeing this movie. I guess I did not see it with you. I think, because mm-hmm. I remember being in one of the rooms upstairs at my old house in Morristown with Shayna Bellin and Anna Panisi. So I guess I saw it with them. But then I, I think I told you, I then I get it confused because I feel like I saw She's All That the year later with them. So I don't know where okay. I was, but I know I saw this movie in theaters with some friends, but I missed the party. Wow, that is quite a party. I can't believe your yeah. brother Seamus went with you. He went, and we were dancing in the aisles. Him and Ben and Scotty were dancing in the aisles. Oh, my especially, God. You know, especially at the end when they put on, it's like the full show at the end. Yeah. Um, and we were dancing and having a good old time. Like, it was, I was so excited. And I was so excited it was coming out on my birthday. Oh, I was my like, God. Yay. What a great like, birthday you know, movie. Yeah. My, yeah. Uh, you know, I was... And 11, yeah, it was 11. So I was 11 yeah. and just very excited. Um, like I they opened, that. they had the movie come out on my birthday. I know because um, we were talking last time we uh, we were talking a month ago. We were saying how like it came out for Christmas in the UK, but then just a few yeah. weeks later for the US, which as kids felt like agony. But what a perfect time. Oh, I know. Well, originally it was supposed to be released on Christmas with oh, us too. Was but it? there was like, so there was financial issues that prevented really? it. Um, from releasing so um they had trouble selling it to distributors honestly um because i I have it listed here they tried selling into new line cinema miramax paramount 20th century fox mgm and universal they all turned it down so they sold it to columbia i I don't know i guess because it was Um, just not a good movie but like i mean the maybe they didn't think it would make money money? yeah that's crazy Wow. So they did, um, Columbia eventually bought it, um, mm. and then but they made some last minute editing, so that delayed it to January 23rd. But originally we oh. were supposed to get it at Christmas, so. Wow. But wow. Can you imagine? Worked out. Had, I, yeah, it, it worked out because, I mean, Titanic yeah. was still king, but yeah, at, least, exactly. at least we had some breathing room because that would have been quite a crazy Christmas with Titanic, yeah. Spice Girls, Scream 2. Can you imagine seeing Titanic and the then the Spice oh. Girls movie right after? You're like crying, and then you go and you're like, well, that's actually. Actually it's a, a good follow actually, up. Yeah, it's I was gonna say it's actually fun. a great combo. Yeah. yeah. See see Titanic, cry your eyes out, and then now you need a comedy to like cheer you up. So there you go. My right? mom and I did that. We did a theater hopping. We saw Brokeback Mountain, of course, it was just so sad at the oh, end. Oh my god. And then we would yeah. see the producers right after. So it was like the perfect <laughs> We needed that jolt of joy. Oh, after. I love that. Yeah, so yeah, that's actually, a good yeah, Titanic combo. and then Spice World. Why yeah. not? <laughs> when the world is in trouble, when our future is in danger. We call upon one man, but when he's busy, he calls five girls. Columbia Pictures presents the Spice Girls. All right, we're coming. In their film debut, Victoria, Emma, Mel B, Jerry, and Mel C. Okay, so let me set the scene before we talk all about this movie and try to figure it out Makes because sense it's, of it. uh-huh yep exactly I still love it but yeah right i it's a, a lot of fun but i'm it was quite a head scratcher at times okay so let me tell you what was going on at this time on the news side in january 1998 everybody news of the bill clinton monica Lewinsky scandal broke Ooh. on january 17th 1998 just about a week before this came out so whoa mm-hmm. what a time to be alive yes. so If you remember, everyone, so news broke on the Drudge Report, which reported that Newsweek editors were sitting on a story exposing the affair. The story broke in the mainstream press a couple days later, January 21st. It broke in the Washington Post, and then it was crazy for a few days. And then Clinton, our president at the time, even then got on the air, had his speech on TV with Hillary by his side, and that's when he said his denial, I did not have I sexual have relations. Sex. Oh, yeah, with that woman. With yeah. that woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And so that w- that happened on January 26th. So as we're like in La La Land over Spice Girls, the world is like, okay, great. Like, there's real stuff going on, right? So I thought that was I remember that scandal, too. Yeah. I do remember it being a big deal. And I'm, yes. Yeah. And it's um, funny, it made, and actually when I was doing that research and seeing that at this time, it actually reminded me, I need to watch the American Crime Story season that came out a year ago, yeah. all about it. Did you see that one? I no, haven't no, seen that. no. Because um, I liked their OJ season, and I saw most of the Versace season, which was good. I just 
Yeah, I haven't seen you know, any didn't of them. Get my, my dad watched the oh. OJ one for sure. He said it was very good. Uh, oh, yeah, watch the... the OJ one. That yeah. one is fantastic. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Yeah, so it's really good. So I got to watch the impeachment one about uh, Monica and, and Clinton because, mm-hmm. yeah. So that was going on. On the TV side, we were just talking about this offline. On the TV side, Dawson's Creek had premiered on the WB, our my favorite channel. I know we were big Buffy fans. Uh, I forget, did you watch Dawson's Creek? You did. I was just going to say, I never watched it. You never watched I one episode? I thought I you watched the watched beginning, no? Wow. I don't think so. I, I th- okay. We would talk about it on the bus, and I'd be like, uh-huh. But I was more <laughs> not, I was always uh-huh. more into the supernatural stuff. Buffy, yeah. Angel, like that. Yeah. Charmed. Charmed. That was, was my jam. Charmed, I think, was coming out the next year, I remember. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I, I hear so, you. Like, I like them all. And, like, yeah. And Felicity, uh, I, don't, I don't think you like Felicity. Felicity, I never right? watched. Oh, Gilmore so Girls. Good. Like, I Yeah, I never like got into Gilmore. Yeah. They, those are, they're not that they're not good, but they're just not my jam, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, and but, I totally understand. That's like a real commitment to like kind of just watch like a, like an old school drama every week is like, yeah. like a soap, Even though you, know? you will always be James Vanderbeek though. I just remember oh, seeing him for the first you. time and I'm like, that's, that's you. That's like I adult know. version it's of crazy. you. Like, it's crazy. It's so crazy that, and because uh, I, so... So this show premiered January 20th, just a few days before the Spice Girl, the Spice oh, Girl came out. Yes, your birthday. And how funny, I guess it was a Tuesday because it started on the, on the WB Tuesday. And I think um, Buffy was either Monday or Wednesday. I don't think it was on the same they night. They changed Buffy. nights a couple times. They the changed show, nights. For sure. uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. You know, rewatching the show, I got to say, it's actually really good. Is it? Really Maybe I'll watch it for the show. I do... Whenever there's, because I've watched movies I haven't seen for, to, for oh, this yeah. podcast, just so I can listen to the episode and know what the hell's going yeah. on. Uh-huh. Um, so, Which is surprising, because okay. you are like me, and you've seen a lot of stuff. You've seen I a have, lot of movies. I have, but I had never seen um, the John Ritter movie, Stay, Stay Tuned. <gasps> you one. had never seen Stay Tuned? I had never tuned. seen wow. that. So I saw you were doing that. I'd heard of it. Yep. And I, I think I messaged you. I was like, I've actually never seen this. So wow. I, I it was... I found it, I watched it, and I was like, how did I miss this? Like, oh, it's such a wild yeah, ride. But I yeah. found out on the, your last episode, you had never seen Scrooged. I know. Thanks for listening. Is, I had never seen mm-hmm. it until just last month for Christmas. I know. Yeah. Isn't that so crazy? Like it had been on my radar funny. for years. I yeah, it's funny how like... Yeah. They yeah. certain movies just pass you by. And, I know. And yeah. then you're like, oh um, yeah, and you add it to your list and everything's added to your list of stuff. I have a list that's and, like, you know? I'm eight miles long. Yeah. Right? Totally. Totally. <laughs> Maybe I'll watch Dawson's Creek. Yeah. You know, give it a shot because Katie Holmes is actually really funny as Joey and there's a lot of movie talk because Dawson loves Spielberg. Um, okay. And how funny now, uh, Michelle Williams, she talks about Spielberg on the show, and now she's in a Spielberg movie and nominated. So She's nominated. Yeah, that's awesome. Check it out. Check her. it out and see how. See if you are into it. Of course, it is a teen soap. And back then, I mean, yeah. you know, the very music teen. is silly, very cheesy, yeah. but keep that in mind. So that had just premiered. Mm-hmm. That we knew ended up being a huge show at the time. Um, on the music side, oh my God, this is such a throwback. Truly Madly Deeply by Savage Garden was number oh, one. Do you remember? Oh, of course. What a song. I loved uh, Savage Garden. Me loved too. them so much. I loved, uh, ooh, I want you, I don't know. I don't know right? I need, need you, but ooh, uh, don't know find out. <laughs> Truly Madly Deeply, what a perfect time for that to be number one. Because like we were saying, Dawson's Creek, so sappy. And that song was like such a ballad. I want to yeah. stand with you. Uh, yeah. Right? So That's good. So, so that was number one. And I thought this was funny. I didn't realize this. Also in music news, Victoria Adams at the time. Time, and David Beckham got engaged January 25th, just a few when days. When the movie was released, yeah. Yes. So happy engagement anniversary to them because they just two, two days and ago what a, they celebrated. What a, what couple. a power couple. I oh know. Oh my God, right? What a yeah. couple. They are iconic. Yeah. So yeah, I thought that was great. And then popular movies, of course, like we said, we've been saying a couple times, Titanic, there was no beating it. It was number one for a while. It had just won some Golden Globes a couple nights mm-hmm. previously to uh, the Spice World premiere. So... I mean, everyone knew there's no way you're going to outdo the big ship coming to town, right? <laughs> so that's kind of what the, was going on at the time. So now, Katie, I'm going to throw it over to you real quick. In your own words, for anyone out there who hasn't seen Spice World, who doesn't really want to rewatch it, uh, what is this movie about? Excellent question, Mark Parker. <laughs> Excellent question. Well, it is about, <laughs> it's about um, the Spice Girls. 
a group of five fabulous women who are just navigating fame and trying to have some semblance of um, a normal life because they, you know, trying to maintain relationships with their good friend. Right. Um, and it's, it's funny. It's it's really looking at like fame and how everyone's trying to like, I, I wrote in here, like everyone wants something from them and yeah. it like shows like kind of like, like the tabloids want to like destroy them to, to sell papers. And then their agent wants to, you know, put them out there to make money. And then the, right. the documentary guy wants to make a good documentary, you know, so he can be famous. Like it's, it's like, they're yeah. all trying to get something from them. And so the girls are, the ladies are um, just navigating that and putting out awesome music and fabulous clothing and riding around on like the best bus in the world. Oh and my God, that bus. Came, <laughs> I, I want to go on that bus. The so spice bad. bus, the six spice girl. Like, honestly, <gasps> yes, that bus. So right. I remembered it like when I was rewatching, I was like, oh shit, I remember how amazing this bus is. It was oh, so ridiculous. It's like, so ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculously huge inside where, you know, obviously they're on a soundstage. Set, like, yeah. Even Greg popped in when I was rewatching it and he's like, wait, they're supposed to be in the bus? Because it showed um, their manager. And I, I don't know who the blonde woman Deborah is supposed to be. Is she sort of the manager's assistant or assistant, publicist? Yeah. Okay. She's like the assistant. Yeah. The, the assistant, assistant manager. But the two yeah. of them are like on a balcony, like looking yeah. down at them in the bus. And Greg's like, wait. There's like, you... Mel C has a training bike. Yes. And it's like, it's just like ridiculous. But it's, 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 it's like great. such a perfect, crazy, like spaceship, which is funny because then we'll get to the spaceship. Oh but, my God, um, I forgot about that scene. Yeah. I know, yeah, but, anyway, I, but... I, I, I just wish, and maybe it happened and I missed the boat, but man, I really wish like the spice bus still like came around to different towns across the world and like it's in you a got to go now. on it. It's in a, it? well, it's, yeah it's i have it written down hold on it's at the it's on permanent display at island harbor marina in england so oh, you can I gotta go, go see it but oh, it's on I permanent display it was in 2014 they put it there so i would love to Ooh. see it too right and i i yeah. don't know I'd, I'd have to delve more into it if they do tours like if you could go in and see, <gasps> i mean i'm sure it's not the same as the movie no but it's, it's not love but to see it. yeah. still just to see where posh was driving the bus yeah <laughs> you know? I love that scene, oh yeah. i love that scene that is so funny and i remember you said last time the quote from that scene that That's you love do you want to say it now i remember because i'll say it still when i'm driving and be like <laughs> sunday drivers it's only saturday like yes. i even do it in a british accent which is amazing because i do such a great british accent as you can hear i love um, it but that i'll still great. do that sometimes when i'm driving and people are being slow i'll say that line so oh, that I did love that. with me 25 years later that's so. funny because that that <laughs> line did i forgot i had forgotten that and until you so brought silly. it up yeah. and it's so good. You know, Victoria, you could tell, well, do you remember like, okay, this was back in 2007, I want to say. Um, mm -hmm. Do you remember when, and I'm wearing my Spice Girl shirt, so you remember that was I the height. You, I this never, is this is from their concert when I, uh, it says the return of the Spice Girls. I saw them with Melissa Graniti. Uh, um, and I want to say in like 2008, their reunion tour. The reunion was, tour. I wanted was, to go so oh, badly. Katie, I it did was not, so I much was fun. So that, but but um that tour was with um ginger spice she did yes she, everyone so was back i mm -hmm. really wanted but i it, i think it was so hard to get tickets and yeah i um, don't know how we scored but it was in east rutherford yeah. new jersey it was north jersey so we had to take like okay. a bus from the city with yeah. all these screaming girls and we're like okay and um i remember that tour it was so fun that show but um everyone in the middle of the show had a solo and Aww. that was at the height of victoria like was not a singer anymore like she was blonde okay. she had her short cool blonde hair she and david beckham were like at the height of their sexiness and also if you remember this is when victoria was trying to kind of be almost like paris hilton and lean into like funny reality because she had yeah. a special that summer i want to say yeah. she had a, like a, a comedy special where i remember she was like in the u.s and trying to get her like driver's license but posing in funny ways and they were like you can't pose like that oh, i do remember that wow right? does that yeah. ring a bell it, does. But it, did, it, does. it was short-lived i i think it, yeah. she was trying to make a reality show but it was only like a, a special but anyway so this was at the height of her like no longer singing and so everyone sang a solo but she instead because she also was like a fashion designer she just walked the runway to david bowie's fashion and didn't speak didn't say anything and just posed and we were like okay so that's her solo yeah, okay that's okay yeah but there's some really good comedy in here and especially from victoria like she made yeah. me laugh re-watching yeah. spice world i mean yeah, they all me did too. they yeah they all you know definitely had good comedic timing but she's surprising because she just out of all of them seems sometimes the the most 
stiff, lost, yeah. you know, unsure what to do, you know? Yeah. So I was sort of impressed that actually she had some good comedic chops here, you know? Yeah, they, yeah, it was funny. Definitely. I definitely laughed a lot. But I'm glad you brought up, you bring up a really good point that, yeah, the movie actually, like if we were talking about it seriously, it's, yeah, it's actually about how everyone wanted something from them all the time. They got no mm -hmm. sleep. Which mm -hmm. I just mean, working them work because remember, like, oh, they're gonna have the morning off, and then they're like, nope, never mind, and they're like, yes, you know, like, of course, but you know, it's X how it kind of was like for yeah. oh, you yeah. know, I think that's why Jerry left. Um, I, I know think it was just exhaustion and just she being left work. only like six months <clears throat> after this, five not months. even five months, five months after the movie. Yeah, so. it's really crazy because when we were kids, and of course, when you're your kids, time feels like it goes on forever. But like, right. think about it. They debuted their first album in September 96. Then mm -hmm. their second album, which this movie is basically one big, long music video for. Their yes. second album, Spice World, came out, I think it was November 97. And so then the movie comes out December, January, right? Mm -hmm. And then Jerry quits. And then they do have their other album, but then like the band. So they only really had a year and a half, really, of like... Yeah non-stop i mean it's insane and i'm actually and, and so happy they they're like normal and not crazy because they could have easily had yeah breakdowns and gone to drugs and i mean but they yeah all i feel like all of them are doing well i was kind of yes. trying to find where they are now like mel b i feel like and victoria are the most you see the most because victoria's married to um david beckham so yes and then and mel, mel b, b is and, on reality show she's on yeah like, she um, does a lot of like america's got talent america's got talent right? yeah yes um, and but she, they're all and, like Emma, wow. we're on an episode or a couple actually of I don't really like the show, but did you see this? Um, it's on Netflix, The Circle, that reality show. I don't really, I no. don't really get it, but they were no. on it, and it's all about like you're in an apartment building and you like stay in your rooms, but then you like chat with people that are other contestants in the apartment building. But the whole goal is you have to like catfish them. So the girls, mm -hmm. uh, it's Emma and Mel B, are like pretending to be someone else. I didn't really get it. I just love seeing the two of them. I only watched the first episode of the season with them yeah. on it because I'm like, oh, it's so fun seeing them like in a room and they're like, wow, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're right. You don't see too much of them, even <clears throat> though for a long time there, Mel C was like the breakout star of the group, I feel like, because she had, I'd say, the best voice, you know. Yeah, I'd say she and had yeah, the strongest She had voice, like a yeah. really good solo dance career for a while, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, it's just crazy to think they really had a whirlwind popularity in, I, in I agree. two years or less. It's so, you know? and I didn't realize how short lived it was either. Like, yeah. I was looking at, yeah, because um, I feel like they came out and we were like, yeah, Spice Girls, everything, girl power, everything, um, the dolls and the, the lollipops yes, with the stickers. The lollipops, and, yeah. and yeah, and, and I was then for Halloween in sixth grade. We went as the Spice Girls. We went yes. to your house for the Halloween party. <gasps> oh um, my gosh, Katie, do you have a picture of that somewhere? Do you I think? do. I do, <gasps> actually. I oh do. my god! I'll, Please send it to me. Darn! I'll have to find. Yes, I okay. am gonna try and find it because my it actually popped up on Facebook in memories. Oh, my, so it's yeah, on I Facebook. Say, okay, it's okay. on Facebook, but I I have it. I think it's in in my I'm in my office so I gotta post this, it. Please. Okay, I'll try and find it. But I'll I was ginger. Yeah. You know, it was scary. Becky was posh. Allison was forty, but um, she was supposed to be, but um, her, her pap wouldn't let her dress because. Because it was like a belly mid a midriff bearing, oh, I think. God. I was, oh god! I was I felt bad. I was like, oh man, blah. and she was so, really disappointed. So what did she go as instead, or was she sporty um, just in a different outfit? No, it didn't go sporty at all. I don't know. But the I funny thing about sporty is you could just put a hoodie on. <laughs> You know, I don't like, know. Yeah, I guess she had like a midriff berries. I don't yeah, know. Allison I'm not surprised. Remember. Maybe yeah. Allison remembers better, but I just remember Pap wouldn't let her wear the outfit, so she went as something else. And yeah, um, and I was like, ah, oh. like I felt bad. That's um, so funny. So oh only three God. of the Spice Girls appeared at your <laughs> Halloween party in <gasps> That's uh, right. um, 2000. Oh my gosh, in nope. 1998. Probably yeah. no, 98 or was it 97? 97. Okay. I think it was before 97. This came out. Wow. Yeah, yeah definitely before. 97 would have been my Halloween party where we watched Scream because Scream came out in 96. So yeah, so you must, you guys must have been yeah. the Spice Girls for the Scream Halloween party. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. I wish I had photos from those parties, but I don't, I don't have anything. Maybe old video on some old bad VHS tape somewhere. They're ready for action. Go power. They're dressed to kill. Shaken or stirred. And thoroughly prepared for any encounter. Thanks so much for watching. 
Next week will be part two of this discussion. And in the meantime, please follow Release Date Rewind on Instagram. I'm